Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavaliers channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton, and today we wanted to talk to you about paws. So today's video is going to be a bit different than what we usually do just because I actually filmed the footage of me uh, trimming the girl's paws beforehand so this is going to be kind of a narrative and a voiceover kind of video. So the reason why I wanted to share this with you today is because you probably know that I'm a huge fan of Grinch feet on Cavaliers and that's the really long kind of toe toe hair and feet hair on Cavaliers. I think it's just very adorable and it looks super cute. It looks very typical Cavalier. But recently I just noticed that Milton's have been growing very fast and very long and in the summer it gets particularly dirty. And although we do wear footwear on Hurricane Milton, namely the balloon boots, and if you forgot about the balloon boots hack, I'm going to insert it up there for you. But we are big fans of footwear and feet protection in the summer, not only for cleanliness, but also for hot pavement. So you have to be mindful of that. But I did notice that in the summer, Milton gets sweaty feet pretty fast. I would say the maximum you want to keep these balloon boots on is about an hour. And I do notice that with even a shorter amount than an hour, Milton gets to, tends to get sweaty feet and when she does get sweaty feet, I feel like the, um, the rubber color rubs up on her fur. So it becomes really dirty and it's, it's like she hasn't worn any boots because I'm going to take them off and her feet are going to be very dirty and sweaty. So that's why I've been thinking of trimming her feet um, for a little bit now and I finally did it and I wanted to share this with you because although I find it very cute, uh, this was just for sanitary cleanliness purposes and practicality too because even if we do wear shoes and we do protect their feet I did notice that their feet just get really really dirty so when I decided to trim her and Milton's feet I did ask Bex you may know her as Lady and the Cavies on Instagram she's a good friend of ours and she is a dog groomer in the UK so I asked her how she trims a uh, lady's feet to to just maintain some sort of shape but also keep it clean so she did refer me to some curved scissors but i didn't have those so i decided to go with the good old thinning shears and the trimming shears i'm gonna link the link of the the ones we use in the description box below but we have a kit that has the clipper for under the paw pads and the thinning shears and the regular shears so i also googled a few videos and watch uh, some YouTube videos on how to trim the dog's feet and basically how you want to do it is keep your dog's feet um, like the normal position that they would on the ground and then you trim around their feet and then you can go back in with the thinning shears in order to um, undo the blunt cuts that you did on the feet. So since Milton had longer feet hair than Herky, I went in with the scissors first and then with the thinning shears just, to, just for them to have a more natural shape. So I did that with all four of her feet and then just go in and trim and undo any mistakes and blunt cuts that you did with the scissors on the feet. And then if you do need also, uh, you can go ahead with some clippers underneath the paw pads like this under here. Uh, we did it recently so I didn't have to do it again but it's it's just much cleaner when this is not all full of hair in the, in the summer. But do be mindful that um, I'm going to remind you that when it's hot outside the pavement gets extremely hot. So try to limit the exposure to the pavement. I'm going to insert a chart here as to how, how hot is too hot for your dog to be on pavement. So always explore the option of shoes, limit your exposure to outdoors, try grassy areas, uh, shaded areas, anything with water is going to be much better for their feet. So that's for Milton's feet. As for Herky's feet, since she had uh, shorter hair on her paws, I decided to go directly with the thinning shears and it worked really well for us. So I just clipped uh, her hair uh, around her feet to make it the approximate length that I want and I just kept going and going with the thinning shears. The thin thinning shears are very forgiving so I love working with those. I know it might not be uh, any professional groomer's favorite tool but for me it works at home so I highly recommend them. And for little feet like these don't forget to always push the hair from between the paws 
up so that you also get those hairs. So you want to go around. I know, honey. You know. You want to go around. What? You want to go around the feet, but also push up the little hairs in between their toes in order to get all the hair there. You're not comfy? Also took off some of the of the feathering on Hercule Milton's legs as well, which is this area right here. If you remember our last grooming video, I did do their at home grooming myself, so I noticed that Milton's hair grows particularly fast recently. So I always like uh, to go back every now and then to trim up that hair just to keep it clean. But ever since I cut their feet hair, I swear, they look like they have such short, tiny baby feet. I think it's adorable. But so know that it's an option for you too. Even if you like the look of grid feet, I think I did Hurricane Milton's a week ago or so, and they're already starting to grow in a bit. So it's kind of a maintenance job to keep it like that, but it's gonna save me like two, three baths a week. So I think it's worth it. Uh, don't forget to keep their their claws short as well. It's much better like that for their joints. It's much easier on their joints when their their nails are clipped to the proper length. You always, if you're afraid of doing it yourself, please go to a groomer's or to the vet for them to do it. I know a lot of places offer even free nail clipping, so it's always a good idea. But I notice Milton's claws, they grow really, really fast. And the trick usually is that you're not supposed to hear their nails on the floor. I know that's it's really short and I'm not even comfortable doing it myself all the time so I have Andy to help me out but that's another little thing that you have to be mindful of is the claws. So look at Milton's paws now. I'm going to try to insert some before and after photos and footage for you to see but her paws before were just very long and grinchy and very cute but I really like the look of the after as well just because she looks like she has smaller feet and I think it's really cute. And also the, the main reason is that it's a lot cleaner too because as you can imagine the Grinch feet is just hair at the at the edge of the feet and so it gathers all the dust and all the allergens and all the all the things from outside so it's not the most clean in the spring and summer and as I noticed even with boots and shoes we are still on the lookout for the perfect summer shoe for Hurricane Milton something breathable um, that's going to protect their feet, that's not going to get them dirty, that's not too hot either. So I'm still on the lookout for that. We tried a pair of sneakers, but um, it wasn't working out with us very well. So the balloon boots uh, are, are what we use for now, but for shorter amounts of time. And especially now that it's really hot outside, we try to limit their exposure to outdoors to maximum half an hour at a time. We divide up their outings so that they don't overheat. Too easily. So if you have any suggestions of any footwear for summer that we should try out, please leave them down below. I hope this video was helpful for you to keep your dog's feet trimmed and clean for the summer. It's very easy to do. I surprise myself at how easy and cute it looks. I, I even have to probably do a little trim job on Milton today. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful for you. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We love you so much and we'll see you soon. Bye!